Hey everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and let's get started. Now in this video guys, I want to talk to you about Exodus Wallet and Jax Wallet. Now some of you may be aware that, uh, uh, you know, some time ago I've changed from Exodus Wallet to Jax Wallet because I like the fact that with Jax Wallet I could have my wallet in multiple devices. Therefore, I went ahead and I changed my uh, Genesis Mining wallets uh, for the uh, addresses from Exodus addresses uh, to the Jax addresses. However, since doing that, I've discovered that the Jax wallet is a bit more glitchy, a bit more slower. Um, sometimes it doesn't show all transactions, sometimes it takes a while to show the transaction. And overall, it, it wasn't working very well, especially with the mining part to receive my funds. Um, it, I was a bit disappointed on that part, but obviously you gotta try to discover this for yourself. So after discovering this, I had to do a bit of you know working, uh, you know work for myself and see what would be the better option for me to go for, in order for me to have my wallet um, in multiple devices at the same time. So what I'm gonna now show you is how I did that, so I can have my. Um, wallet on my uh, desktop and at the same time on my phone so first thing first guys uh, I obviously uh, you know took again my wallets from Exodus and I've changed them to in in Genesis mining in order to do that if you're not aware all you gotta do is go to Exodus wallet choose which you know currency you want let's say dash click receive copy your wallet just remember here as you can see copy the wallet and then all you gotta do here is go to JNC mining and change it now as you can see it's already been done so that the, my wallets have already been set up now that made the first part you know done it so I can receive my mining um, from JNC mining into my Exodus wallet However, I also wanted to have it, you know, the option to have the wallet on my iPhone. Um, so, in order to do that, now I'm not going to be able to show you the, the Jax wallet on the iPhone, but I'm also going to show you the Jax wallet on my desktop. So, what you know, what you're going to see here on the desktop is the same Jax wallet I have on my phone, and you will see in a moment that I have merged both Exodus and Jax wallet as one. Now, in order to do that, guys. You have to go to backup. Here you're gonna have now, as you can see in the screen, it, at the moment is is for me it says reset email and password and show 12 word phrases. However, if you haven't done this before for yourself, you're gonna have to set up these things: the 12 word phrases and the, uh, you know the email and uh, password part. The screen will probably look slightly different for you. I don't remember exactly for me, but I think it, first of all it looks slightly different. And once you set them up, this is how it. What you're gonna have so from here guys once you set it up all I had to do is you know to um, now at the moment I won't be able to click on show 12 word phrases because obviously those 12 words if anyone discovered them they can set up the same wallet as mine and then obviously can take my funds so once you set them up write down your 12 word phrases once you take you once you have your 12 word phrases you then go to uh, in order for you to now transfer this wallet into the Jax wallet, so they they show you the same amount. Therefore, gives you the freedom to have the uh, the Jax wallet uh, on your phone and let's say the Exodus wallet on your desktop. So then all I gotta do is go to the Jax wallet, and then I go to Tools. Now again, this has already been done. However, I'm gonna uh, show you how to do it uh, for yourself, so you can do the the merge and use two wallets as one. And then you go to pair devices. Now, once here, click on pair and restore wallet. Now you gotta wait here for a while, and then click on I understand. Now here, guys, you're gonna put the 12 word phrases that you've taken from your Exodus wallet all right so you have the 12 word phrases and now here you put all the 12 word phrases now once you put the 12 word phrases all you gotta do is click uh, next um, 
and then it, you you know it will ask you to set it up you know is it custom is it express you set up which um, currency to show you and then voila you will ha you will have the same wallet in here and to prove you that guys I'm gonna go let's say now to uh, Bitcoin so at the moment exit uh, Jack's wallet showing me the Bitcoin amount and as you can see my amount is 10 38 um, 0.10 and I'm gonna go to the exit wallet and I'm gonna click on wallet and there you have it guys if you look at the amount is 0.10 so as you can see guys, it is showing me like, you know, it is the exact same wallet on two different devices. The amount it says is slightly different in, in, in regards to the dollars because obviously it takes a while for, for it to be updated because obviously the price changes constantly. But as you can see that the amount of BTC is exactly the same. Now if we go to Dash, we see the exact same thing. So if I click on Dash. You can see 0 0.81792545. Uh, as you can see, guys, on the desktop I have two uh, different wallets, but they are the same actually wallet. You know, they 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 kind of two in one. And again, this Jack's wallet, what you see here on the screen, is the exactly what I have on my phone. Now the only thing here at the moment, guys, is with the line corner. This is where I said the Unfortunately, um, Jack's wallet is slightly glitchy. So, if I show you my Litecoin, as you can see, the amount is slightly different in terms of the amount of Litecoin. But that is because uh, of the glitchy part, which I've talked about, and is not showing uh, the last few transactions on the Jack's wallet. Now, eventually, this will uh, be updated, and it will um, all be matching up, just like the Bitcoin in the Dash. But for some reason, you know, with the Litecoin, it takes a while, you know, to show up, to update. Um, and this is actually the main reason I decided I need to switch uh, back to the Exodus wallet as being my main wallet in terms of receiving my funds um, from Genesis Mining. However, I want to have the freedom to have the wallet um, on my phone. And this is how you can do it as well, guys. Um, you may also not like the fact that you know it's slightly glitchy with the Litecoin, but I'm sure that eventually um, you know Jax uh, will manage to. Well, if it's obviously something that they need to work out, uh, they will eventually do it. But in the meantime, it's not something that, you know. It make it, it makes me completely like. You know, disappointed. I know it's. Uh, it would be nice to show me the ex the, the matching amount. Uh, so I know exactly if I look at my phone what is my amount however I think this is you know a slight you know a slight um, I should, you know how should I say uh, you know a slight misunderstanding in terms of the of the, the Litecoin and in terms of the actual wallet but eventually I think it will work out at the end and it will show you the exact same amount on both wallets well, there you have it, guys. This is what I want to share with you. If you want to, to do the same, if let's say you want to uh, be able to use Exodus Wallet as your main wallet because, uh, you know, it obviously it looks much more smoother. You can do, you know, the exchange within the wallet just like the Jax Wallet. And obviously you can receive your funds from your mining uh, if you are using Genesis Mining or in that sense, any mining if you are using. Um, yep, you can have the obviously the Exodus wallet as your main one, uh, but then you know all you gotta do is take your 12 uh, sprays, put it in Jack's wallet as I just showed you, and you have the, the same wallet uh, in Jack's as well. So two in one wallets, very good, very happy in regards to them. So uh, now I'm holding my iPhone actually in my hands and I'm inside my Jack's wallet and I'm you know seeing what you're saying on the desktop, guys. And it's pretty awesome, you know. While on the go, I can access my wallet, and and see, you know, if I want to do some transaction, I can do it from, you know, from the phone. I don't always have to carry my laptop with me, and this is what I like initially, and this is why I switched to Jacks. But now I'm very happy that um, I can actually have my Exodus wallet back, 
and you know and jacks pretty much at, at the same time so therefore i have you know i feel like i have two in one wallets guys and i'm very very happy about it well thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoy my videos thank you for all the support uh, you know for, for everyone that subscribes to, to my channel i also want to thank you for all the comments and you know the messages and of course i also want to thank you guys for using my code when you're doing your upgrades on GNC mining if any of you you know want to support me and want to use my code if they're doing some upgrades you'll find it in the description section of this video or in the comment section if you do that uh, you know feel free to leave me a comment with your code and i use it when i'm doing my upgrades thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye bye for now